welcome back to Abstract Medicine, welcome back, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you, thank you for letting me read for you and thank you for your lovely donations, gifts and your lovely comments as well about my recent video, um, particularly the intro, I sort of arranged the music myself so that was fun. Um, just a side note, just for fun I like to DJ, I haven't DJed in quite some time. Um, I do need to get some decks at some point. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> this video is not about that, is it? This video is not about that. This video is going to be about the Divine Masculine. Okay, so I wanted to dedicate a video for the Divine Masculines, um, for in particularly men out there who are... Um, really needing some support this time. I want to see what comes through in the readings. Um, but yeah, uh, divine masculine energy, regardless of gender, um, just to see, you know, what your energy balance is at this time. And also if you are a male in particular and you're understanding about your masculinity, this could be the reading for you uh, in a spiritual sense. So if you're new to my channel, I'm an artist and I'm a healer and this is the healing part of what I do. So I receive guidance from the celestials, from my guides, from angels, ancestors and ascended masters as well to deliver the messages that I need to hear um, and channel for you. So if you like this reading please do like and share and subscribe as well. So let's get started, let's get into it, let's go with the um, let's go with the crow tarot for the divine masculines okay. So Okay, we're already started, I haven't even asked the question yet, but so we have the four of pentacles and we have the three of pentacles. So what this is telling me, divine masculines, is, I just need to call in the angels one second. <laughs> okay, so what this is telling me is that you could be really um, focused on work at this time. You could be very stuck on... Um, working and collaborating, uh, you know, being a team player, a uh, team builder. This is also telling me that maybe you've been um, working in amongst the crowds for quite some time. And maybe this is a little hint from Universe saying that, you know, as a Divine Masculine, you really need to stand out and not be part of the crowds, but be a leader. Okay, so what that's what the Divine Masculine energy is all about. It's someone who is able to be an amazing team worker, yes, but someone who is able to lead rather than follow, yeah? So that's what I'm seeing here for you. Let's get two more from the um, crow tarot, please. Okay, thank you. We've got the six of cups and we've got the two of swords. So Divine Masculines, you are at this time, um, you're, I do feel like you're also um, thinking or you're, you're holding on, you're holding on to something that is very dear to you. Uh, I also see that you're holding on to a soulmate from your past here with the Six of Cups. The Two of Swords is telling me that there is um, a crossroads that you're currently involved in mentally. So you could be involved in being unsure about working with someone that you, someone from your past. So again, this could be work related. So a soulmate can also be people um, that you feel like a soul tribe with. So these could also be, you know, team players, work people that you work with that really feel like a tribe to you. So I'm seeing a factory worker, so I'm seeing someone that works in the factory um, and, you know, their, their teammates, the people that they work with feel like, you know, they're homies, they're bros. Um, that's the energy that I'm getting, that's the sort of image I'm getting, you don't have to have that. Um, but maybe there was a decision about maybe moving from one place of work to another place of work um, where you're in a work environment, so you're collaborating, you're in a teamwork environment. And then you're working and you're, you're, you're having to make a decision about moving on to an, a new teamwork environment. And this is a difficult choice for you mentally. So I feel like there's a lot of um, thinking here. Wow. 
We have the Devil card here. Um, if this is work related, I do see that there is, um, well, almost certainly the Devil is very Saturnian energy and it's very Capricornian. So it's the en energy, I mean, also had enemy. So uh, it's the enemy of money as well because, and health. Because when you overwork, obviously you become over exhausted, right? So Divine Masculines, I see that there is something here where you may have been working too much. You've been tied to your work. You've been really, um, you've been really committed to it. But it's now come to a point where it's almost a, an enslavery, a slavery, you know. So again, with the sheep analogy uh, and the leader analogy, you know, are you being a team player or are you... And also, are you also just kind of being guided by by money? Um, just hold on, guys, because the the messages are coming through. They can be quite slow sometimes. But yeah, I do see that there could be something here where there is um, an energy of enslavement, and I do feel like you could be really stuck um, and chained to this job this situation where you may find very like very much so a lack of freedom um because we have this bird here that is chained to this um you know nightmarish character nightmarish character that's half crow and half ram with the um pentacle reversed on their forehead so on their crown chakra so I see that you've been guided by, you've been guided or you've been led astray by maybe a t particular group, maybe even a cult or a sect or even a belief system, that this is the way to do things. This could also be part of the matrix, maybe. Um, we There are different types, there are var a variety of matri matrices um, in our society and outside of our society. But I feel like there is something here that in terms of this job, You've been finding it really difficult and you're battling with, with your own head, um, trying, to, trying to decide whether this job is the best choice for you because it's making you feel very enslaved to it, um, chained to it, and you'd feel lack of freedom or whether you should move forward into something that is calling your soul journey. And this soul journey could be something related to someone from your past or your past life even. Um, something that makes you feel connected to childhood and innocence because the six of cups does talk about children we also have three crows here as well and i can't help but think there's those three th three crows here and three crows here no three pentacles here and three crows here i feel like there could be something here where if this is not work related this does talk about um love as well so to my masculines it seems like there is something here where you may have um been trapped in a relationship um, and you're looking towards your 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 happiness um, and I do see that there is something here and someone here that could be related to your past here to my masculines let's get two more we have a temperance card here so you've got two major arcanas here and we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So what I'm seeing here, Divine Masculines, is that there is something here that you really need to balance out. And what you need to balance out is your health. Here with the Temperance card, this is a very strong message from Spirit here. But it's saying if you don't balance your, um, your health, you're going to feel really sick. And you won't have the ability... Um, to even think straight, let alone work well, okay, if this is work-related. Um, so find freedom and go for what is truly calling you as well. This could also be some sort of addiction that you may be going through, you may be having at this time. I'll show you this card in a sec. I just want to put this here for a second because I feel like it's this is moving on to the next stage of the reading. Um, but I feel here that there could be something here where there is an addiction here, or at least something very low vibrational, very dark. I feel like there's an energy here of someone that you may be in connection with, you may even have a relationship with that is very toxic. 
Um, there could also be something here where there's an addiction to uh, P-O-R-N as well. I do see that here. Um, and there's a real need to elevate your vibration here from that. Um, and to take time to really reclaim your own semen as well, is what I'm seeing here. Um, and what that means is to withhold um, and to really start to um, get energised again. Um, and I know that a lot of you, the thing is about divine masculine energy is... Um, is that it's it's the understanding and awareness that um, society has told us that spreading our seeds. I'm not a male myself, um, but I do have a divine masculine energy within me. I'm a divine feminine predominantly, but I do have divine masculine energy within me too, and that's balanced out. Um, but I am coming across more and more so with divine ma divine feminine energy, divine feminine presence. And so what I'm seeing here is that um, your divine feminine energy within you is out of balance. And so there could be a lack of control of urges here. There can be a lack of emotional expression. There can be a distorted sense of what is male and what's makes masculinity masculinity again regardless of gender etc etc um and i just see that here there is a real need to really focus um and really balance these energies out because there's a distortion here and i also do see that there is an addiction to porn that is not helping or even serving you to think straight to even value uh, positive relationships um, from and in around your soul tribe as well, just generally speaking, regardless of um, romance or not, regardless of sex or not. I do see that there is something here that needs to really be focused on and what needs to be focused on, focused on is your health and your balance within. We have a triangle here, which does talk about balance and alchemy. We also have the three of pentacles here, remember, as well. So um, I just feel like you really could be stuck on... Um, addictive habits that are just not serving you um i would definitely um speak to your friends about this particularly other masculines or other males in particular that you really feel like you need you like you connect with i just feel like there is um a, a group of people here that Maybe you, you're surrounding yourself with people. I know faff with the cards here, but just bear with me one sec. Um, I see that there's a group of people here as well. Maybe a group of friends, maybe a false band of brotherhood um, that you're connected with. That is, they are people from your past and they're people from your childhood, but they're not serving you well at all. Um, maybe they served you well um for some time, maybe for the last nine, ten years, but now it's time to flee that nest. Um, it was all fun and games, and now it's time to flee that nest, is what I'm seeing here. With the Nine of Pentacles, I see that there is something here, a Divine Masculines, that is going to be very um, happy, uh, going to involve a lot of happiness for you. Uh, you've worked very hard, just generally in your place of work as well, and I also do see an opportunity for you to... Um, create more balance in your life, even financial stability and balance, if you choose the right path here. I feel like you are in the fork in the road. I am getting a, the energy of Neo in the Matrix, actually, who's being presented with two pills, the red pill and the blue pill. And it's a question of that. It's which pill are you going to take? Which pill are you going to cho choose? Are you going to choose the, the path where it just seems comfortable and it seems like it's providing you security? but it's making you miserable and it's making you stagnate and it's not making you grow. It's making you feel enslaved and it's making you feel less free than your, what your soul is asking for. Or are you going to choose a path where it's going to provide you that freedom? It's going to provide you that sense of self-worth, that sense of empowerment, that sense of balance. Um, it's Of course, it's up to you. You have free will. And this also involves maybe other people coming in to um, 
other other people coming into um, speak and be their authentic selves t as well because I don't feel like in this environment that you're in you're in your you're in your authentic and empowered state I feel like there's a group of people um, in your near future if you depending on which path you take but there is a potential for one of the paths where there's a potential of amazing um, abundance in a group of people that will bring a lot of happiness and solidarity and true brotherhood and even sisterhood as well um, there are people that are destined in your path and and will bring a lot, a lot of sunshine as well the six of cups um, does talk about soulmates and past life energies as well and I feel like there is a familiarity with these people that you could be coming across should you choose that path I just feel like in the current path that you're in, you're really um, concerned and you're really stuck on money and you're really you're you're in a poverty mindset and you're lacking. You're 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 really lacking something, or you're lacking, you're lacking or even missing someone. Um, and you may distract yourself with addictions. You may distract yourself with PORN. You may distract yourself with a, um, a, like a short spurt of escapism which could include alcohol drugs um the wrong associations as well um tv as well video games as well not to say that all of these things are bad um individually speaking but what i'm saying is an excessive amount of all of these things that i've mentioned including porn is damaging for your own mental, emotional, physical health. And so I just feel like there's an energy of just giving away your energy, literally speaking. Um, and there's an energy, there's a need to, there's a message here, the need to reclaim your power, reclaim your semen as well, reclaim your sense of authenticity and actually start to become a leader rather than a sheep is what I'm seeing here. So I'm just gonna put that to the side for a sec. And I'm going to continue with some more cards. So I see here that in terms of a soulmate, if you choose the path of a soulmate um, or to the path of happiness and joy and the path less travelled, I see that there is going to be a lot of travelling involved in this particular path. This can inv involve a lot more communication, a lot more openness as well with a particular group of people. Um, and also maybe here with the nine of pentacles there could be something here where there's satisfaction in the work that you do produce and create in a new place of work as well um, and even if you are a team player in this new place of work there's an energy of feeling more empowered in that state as well if you are um, asking about work in particular but let's keep going at the bottom of the deck we have the death card here so you're currently going through a very transformative time in your life uh, divine masculines i keep wanting to say part three i don't know why but maybe there's one of you had um chosen part three in one of my readings i've got many readings on my youtube so just go to my abstract medicine playlist for more information about that um where i have like pick a pick a crystal or pick a pile you know so i just feel like there is more freedom in this uh this new path that you may be choosing uh, and then spirit is encouraging to, you to do, to choose. But I also do see massive transformational energy here where you're tr transforming your mindsets, you're changing your life here. And I feel like there's, again, there's a need for leadership here with the strength card. So this is pure divine masculine energy in itself here with this card. So I just feel like there is a lot of empowering energy in this path that you choose. Um light work light worker energy so i do see someone here who is helping the community um who is leading the way with this strength card here is talking to me about true leadership and you know hear me roar you know and listen to what i've got to say in a good way in a positive way rather than in i'm gonna dictate and tell you what to do and i'm gonna put you in slavery kind of way you know so one way one path one path leads to destruction and enslavement and one path leads to freedom here. So which one are you going to choose? 
So you know it's up to you. It's up to you. So divine masculine. I also feel like there's a need to speak up here and speak your truth here. I feel like you've had your mouth closed for a very long time. And I feel like you've also not opened up your intuitive abilities. You've been holding back from your intuitive abilities. You've been holding back from what makes you, what feels good to you. You know, you're not using all of your six, seven, eight, ten senses. You're limiting your, you've been limiting yourself. Um to very menial tasks and very robotic it's like the energy of um synthetics it's almost like the energy of um i'm gonna be i'm gonna say something kind of out of outspoken but um it's almost the energy of wearing a condom and not really feeling the full force of what you're experiencing so it's very synthetic um this path it may seem pleasurable but it's really like a false pleasure and i also see there could be a karmic relationship here where you may have been involved with someone who may have seemed like a soulmate um someone from your past you were dealing with this could also be past energy you may have already experienced all of this and you're moving forward but divine masculines i see that there is um a connection here that you may have entertained that was very low vibrational that was very um, toxic um, and really challenged your self-esteem and made you feel crap, basically. This person was not in your highest good. This person made you feel spent. This person made you feel very weak, restless, um, concerned in anticipation, um, dependent, codependent as well. That's what I'm seeing here, Divine Masculines. And I see here that there was um something here that had um made you feel very focused on the wrong thing made you feel very focused on the wrong thing is what i'm seeing here let's get one more card for you i'm also seeing my neighbor here my um there's a lovely handsome neighbor a lovely handsome couple actually opposite me about the same age group as me um and they live opposite and um he's just coming out of his apartment i'm not sure whether he's going to be bringing his partner with him or his wife or his girlfriend but they seem like they're going on a trip on holiday so I also see that here on this path there's a lot of freedom the eight of um, ones does talk about travel as well maybe even relocation too so maybe there's something here about maybe needing to move and relocate and I just mentioned you know a married couple or a partnership and stability as well and this is the four of wands so maybe this is something where this path could bring you amazing abundance but there's going to be a time before you choose this path there's going to be a, a bit of a, a bit of a rocky road here i'm also seeing rocky road the ice cream <laughs> so maybe there's a time to like taste new ice cream <laughs> you know taste new experiences taste new people sexually speaking as well you know um sense the moment experience all of your senses use all of your senses your sixth sense your seven eight nine ten senses i feel like you haven't been using all of your capabilities um i keep wanting to say pal three i feel like there's some of you that have chosen pal three in my readings um that's all right <laughs> but yeah divine masculines i feel that there is um a, a, um a possibility for you to travel um with your partner with your spouse and even relocate some of you may have experienced these these experiences that I mentioned um, earlier from your past about toxicity and toxic behaviours, low vibrational things, and now you're really rising up and becoming divine masculines. So you're becoming more and more in tuned and aligned to your divinity. That's what divine masculinity is all about and divine femininity is all about. It's coming into alignment with your divinity and your sense of wholeness, your sense of spirituality as well, because this does talk about light worker energy. So someone who is in reverence to spirit um, and is in reverence to their divine purpose um, and is here to lead, even within a team setting, that's totally fine, but is here to lead the way into the light, not into darkness, enslavement and, and um, 
limiting belief systems even. I feel like maybe some of you have, um, if this is something that you've dealt with already, you, ha you were in a relationship with someone who was very low vibrational and really made you feel stuck on um, something. I've just seen this chap, so my neighbour who lives opposite me, um, he's not going, he's not travelling with his girlfriend, his partner, his wife. Um, maybe his girlfriend, his wife or his partner is already abroad, so she may have gone abroad and he may be going to search for her. So again, what I see around me is also coming through in the readings and I do pay attention to that because I take the messages in all different types of ways, not just through reading the cards. I take the messages through Claire audience, Claire um, cognition, Claire visual uh, interpretations as well as Claire knowing, Claire sentience as well. So. I see that there could be someone who is finding their freedom and traveling to meet their one as well, meet their person, or you could also be someone who may have experienced all of these low vibrational energies and you're someone who's recently married and you've um, married someone, you've married your soulmate here, I do see that here, um, someone from your past who was the right choice, yeah, um, and you made the right choice here and you went to explore pastures green and you took the courage to do that here. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to go on to and choose a new venture um, where a lot of bumps in the road will occur and happen here and lots of lots of transformational energies. Some of you may have experienced a death and a connection so an ending and a connection with someone that you really felt a familiarity with or with a soulmate here um, and I feel like this connection is transforming into marriage here, something that's stable where both of you are going to be working with each other here, um, working on maybe even creating some sort of retreat or creating a place where you provide support, guidance, healing to so many. This could also be social media. There are amazing, amazing people on social media, um, including Divine Masculines out there that I follow on YouTube um, who are really doing the work. They may not see themselves as Divine Masculines, but I see that. I, I see that. I see that they are empowering themselves. They're leaving toxic behaviours, toxic people, toxic things, um, toxic situations, low vibrational situations, uh, even lack mentalities. They're changing their ways. They're really doing the work to become more in balance with their divine feminine within them, uh, which means talking and expressing themselves emotionally rather than having fits of outbursts and fights and... Um, even turning to crime as well. So, and the wrong people can lead you to that as well. And there is death here. So I feel like some of you have even quite literally also experienced death as death as well, Divine Masculines. And what I'm seeing here is that there is um, a healing that has taken place here for you. I feel like there has been a lot of sleepless nights over a connection or even over something that has terrorised you, maybe an ex from your past who was the, the ex from hell, you know, this devil, devil woman, I'm hearing. Um, and this could be someone who, or even a person, maybe even a family member who may make you, may even do some black magic on you and make you feel enslaved and trapped um, in a particular place, situation or even mindset. And they do this devil magic, devil worship as well. Um, this also do, does talk about seduction as well. Maybe even trauma from your past as well. Maybe from your childhood as well is coming up for you. And maybe this is something that you're still healing. And it, in your physical world, you seem okay. But in your spiritual world, in the place of your dreams, when you're sleeping, you're getting nightmares and you're feeling very trapped here with the, the cage here. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of arguments as well and fears and nightmares as well that you're still healing and that you're still transforming. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I see that there is a lot of opportunities for you. So we're going to move on now. So I'm just going to move these cards. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities, opportunities for um, happiness, emotional happiness, emotional satisfaction, if you choose the right path here. Um, and I feel that you choosing the path of 
death can actually be your liberation. So sometimes you may have to, you may actually need to quite literally end something in order to begin something new here. And some of the, some of you will actually have to end relationships um, and end entertaining um, yourselves with low vibrational activity on a constant basis. Um, there's something to be said about imagination as well. Um, maybe try to self-pleasure yourself without actually having to watch something or look at something. Um, because I would say with the Nine of Cups this and the Nine of Swords, there's a lots of Nine Nines here, so there's lots of endings here, difficult endings. Um, and also endings does talk about self-pleasure as well, right? So coming to that um, arrival, let's say. Um, there's the sun and the moon here. So there's, again, there's this, this disparity and this choice that needs to be taken place here. There's something to be said about using your imagination. Um, and so maybe trying to self-pleasure with that, with just using your imagination alone, you can actually reap better rewards, let's say, um, sexually speaking, than actually you looking at, let's say, something that's just going to be a quick fix that doesn't really last very long. And you know what I'm talking about. By the way, I have no qualms, no worries about talking about sex personally. I think it's perfectly natural, and I think that self-pleasuring is perfectly natural. Um, and it releases a lot of endorphins, it releases a lot of, you know, stress, um, and elevates your mood as well. But I think with PORN on a constant basis, will deplete your moods, will make you feel more lethargic and make you feel just generally less focused. Whereas actually what I'm talking about is Tantra. So maybe this is the beginning of your journey of Tantra and actually holding on to your semen might be a good thing here. And starting something new here with the full card here, you know, starting this new adventure, starting this new way of doing things, starting this new self-pleasuring as well. Um, habit even, if you want to call it a habit. Um, this could be something that will reap better rewards for you is what I'm seeing here. Because I feel like currently what you're experiencing in terms of self-pleasure is not something that is um, long lasting. And I also feel like you could be stuck on just lust alone uh, and not really seeing particularly females uh, as something more than. So when you participate in um, addictive pursuits like this um, on a constant basis you're actually demoralizing the divine feminine within you forget women in general you're, you're demoralizing yourself as well you're demoralizing your divine feminine within you here with the queen of wands um, and you're putting your own sense of equality your own sense of freedom your own sense of self-worth down because I, I guarantee you, you feel great for like maybe five, ten minutes, but afterwards, but it doesn't last very long. And maybe there's some guilt involved here as well, I'm not sure. It could involve um, some just just feeling crap about yourself afterwards. It, it may last like five, ten minutes of pleasure, but it doesn't last very long. Um, and it's because it's only purely based on lust. With the Queen of Wands, it does talk about lust as well. I want to just take, um, yeah, and I feel like you betray yourself. Um, and I'm also hearing betraying humanity, which sounds very kind of dramatic, but I feel like there needs to be an end here. Can you see how we have nine, ten, and nine here? And we have the full card, which essentially is zero. So we have this um, beautiful ending and completion that needed to take place and needs to take place in these addictions. Um, I'm not saying that you should abstain from sex completely or even sexual activities completely, that is your prerogative and that's your choice. But what I'm saying is, if you see it from a different light and maybe abstain from it for a little while, or even abstain and hold your semen, um, particularly males, it would really benefit you. Um, and if you are a female and you are carrying the divine masculine energy predominantly, then this is something also for you to maybe even become less sexually available 
um, and also abstain and retain yourselves from self-pleasure as well at this time for at least I don't know if, it, if you'll be able to cope with it but this is going to be an amazing challenge for you if you can let's say quote unquote rise to the occasion to do that it's going to provide you a lot of energy in the long run and this I do see this as being nine days and nine months so if you are committed to this path of spirituality and high vibrational energy then this is what it involves it's up to you I can't tell you what to do but what I am seeing here is someone who is really needing to abstain here um, from spying um, and keeping tabs on people online as well as self-pleasuring um, from your phone from your laptop from your computer or whatever um, and just maybe lusting over one particular individual as well I do see that there is a, um, a going to be a change in your your metabolic system as well if you do abstain for a little bit um, or even for a while um, here with the five of pentacles this does talk about the body and a change in the physical dimensions as well and I feel like it's going to be a very difficult um, difficult process for you to take at the time at this time if you are choosing that but I do see here with the ace of swords it's going to provide you um, illumination it's going to provide you a new beginning uh, and clarity as well you're going to have a clearer mind as well you're going to be able to think straight is what I'm seeing here um, I do see that a lot of you divine masculines do tend to be in your mind a lot um, and in your body a lot but maybe having that balanced out with mind, body and soul is going to be something that's going to be more beneficial for you in the long run. So there needs to be an alignment of mind, body and soul. For those of you who are not in a relationship at this time or who are in a relationship as well as self-pleasuring, you know, maybe there's uh, a need to talk to your partner and just say, look, I need to just take a minute to abstain for a bit. And if they are your vibrational match and they are in your highest good, they will understand that. And they will love you regardless, okay, of participating in sex. And it just, you know, it's got nothing to do with them in particular. It's not that they, you don't find them sexually alluring or, you know, handsome, beautiful, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's that you just need time to take a break. Um, and this actually does talk about Kundalini rising energy. So Kundalini, so if you don't know what that means, it's basically, um, it's the energy of the serpent rising from your root chakra from the base of your spine all the way up the spinal column up through your neck and through and open and out to your crown chakra your third eye the space in between your eyes and just above that so you are around your forehead we have a third eye that is um, inside it's the pineal gland and it's very small um, and that has been calcified over many 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 years and centuries of dictatorial and also um, governmental programming as well societal programming as well that masculines should act in a certain way etc etc you should get, have this certain job etc etc you should be in a relationship etc etc in this way you know all of that and so that that calcification of the third eye of the pineal gland does not let us see the truth of all things and so what I'm seeing here is that you abstaining from um, from these sexual um, activities for, for a time, maybe a time of your choice, of course, um, will really open up your illumination, uh, your, clear, your clairvoyance um, and your psychic gifts and just help you think straight as well. So now let's have a look at... Um, Now let us have a look, Divine Masculines, at the Tarot, just the Smithwick Tarot. So we have the Wheel of Fortune, so something is changing for you Divine Masculines, something is changing for you for the better here. I do see that the devil is underneath here, well it's kind of like a mythic character, it's not really the devil, but um, maybe you've been dictated by time for quite some time, <laughs> and now time if you choose the right path will be 
um, working for you. So maybe if you've been, you know, chasing your tail, just generally speaking, um, work related or otherwise, or you just don't feel like you have enough time to spend time <laughs> with your the people, your loved ones, the, your friends, you know, your tribe, or even taking time out, or even taking time to breathe and think straight, taking time out to retreat from the world as well, even from social media, um, the internet, etc, etc. Um, it's going to, now there's time working in your favour here, and we have the four of wands again. So now we have clarity on what you want, we have clarity in what kind of relationship you want to build on. This does talk about celebration, happiness and joy in terms of a marriage as well. So maybe taking time out in order to, from your work, uh, rather than just work, 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 you find clarity and you're able to spend time with, you find clarity and understanding and illumination that what's really important here is not the coin, it's not just money, it's also your family as well. Your loved ones, your spouse, your partner, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, um, your husband, your wife. But this also does, does talk about maybe an illumination about where you want to live to. So <clears throat> Divine Masculines, I do see that there is something very opportune for you happening here with the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune does talk about things changing and evolving. Look at that. We've got the Devil card again. Mate, <laughs> what's going on? Divine Masculines, um, we have a Devil card coming back again. Some of you are going to be tempted um, to go into bad habits again or low vibrational activities, partake in low vibrational activities again. Um, but I see here that there is illumination about maybe something that you were involved in that you're no longer going to be involved in here. Uh, the devil does talk about um, number 15. So it's a false relationship as well, as I mentioned before. And we've got the soulmate card again. So we've got the Six of Cups again in a different deck. This is the Six of Cups that came out in the Crow Tarot, but in a different deck. The Smithwaite deck, we have the Six of Cups again. So we have these three cards that have come out in another deck, and it's coming out again. So it's basically saying that you had an illumination of the relationship that you want to be in, and you also had an illumination of the relationship that you may have been in before in your past, your recent past, um, maybe a long time ago, that was toxic. Um, and you're getting clarity about the kind of relationship that you want to attract in your life, the kind of relationship that you want to be in. Also in terms of um, balancing your home life as well and work life is very important at this time as well. And you're getting clarity about that. A lot of you are also, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of you are also moving away from these toxic behaviours and toxic people as well. You could also be relocating, as I mentioned before, with the Six of Swords. You're moving away from mental bad habits, so bad, you know, like negative talk as well, uh, mental talk to yourself as well. Um, I do feel like there is an opportunity for clarity here. There's an opportunity for uh, emancipation as well, um, you know, freedom. And I see that a lot of you um, are rising to the occasion of becoming the divine masculine within you. Um, outwardly um, in the real world here you're becoming your truest self and you're becoming more and more in alignment with what makes you feel good um, not just sexually but that is long lasting so it's not just a quick fix um, I do see Tantra involved here so um, I do see that there is a release of suffering and there's a release of um, toxic people just generally speaking if it's not romantic alone or sexually speaking um, and situations as well which can involve work as well. Page of Cups is telling me that there is um, a surprise message of love or even flirtatious energy that is going to be involved in your new path here in a situation that you're moving towards where you have moved away from dissatisfaction, you've moved away from feeling um, you know, drawn out, your energy has been drawn out um, through one capacity or the other from a person, addictions as well, low vibrational, toxic behaviours, situation, people as well, groups of people as well that you're moving away from in order to find your ten of cups, your wishes fulfilled, emotionally speaking. And I just see that there is something here where you're moving away from maybe even the dead of night where people are not expecting you to leave because you've been in this situation relationship or whatever 
or even job for quite some time so they don't expect you to be leaving because what did I say before you've been some sort of robot where you've just been you know stamping in and stamping out tapping in tapping out uh you know methodically methodically and we have the queen of wands again in a different deck so I do feel like there is an ending of lustful um lustful endeavors as well and you're rising to the occasion of what really makes your soul um feel like what your soul's soul says you know it's the energy between the energy of lust and love um you have alchemy you know um it's converting base metal to gold so this is base metal to me um and this is gold to me ace of one ace of swords and the four of wands so you're moving away from base behaviours, base situations, copper into turning that into gold. Um, or let's say you're using the analogy of cleaning up that rusty rock and turning that into a diamond. Some of you, I'm also seeing proposals as well here with the Page of Cups. Maybe you've been with someone for quite some time and you've just been on the fence about proposing to them and... You know, especially now with 2020, 2021 COVID, things are evolving um, and spirit is letting you see um, the people around you and may, may also letting you see and get gain clarity on what's really important. And I mentioned couples, relationships and marriage and family is important to you. And you finally come to the light and understanding that maybe you, you should really commit to this person that makes you feel happy or let's say makes you feel more in balance, makes you feel more yourself. Um rather than just being on the fence there's nothing more dishonorable to yourself and your soul than just being comfortable with what you're experiencing um and not being committed fully with what you're experiencing either commit fully or don't with the queen of pentacles here i do see a commitment here with someone who is very stable someone who may have it all so someone who is very attractive very sexually alluring but also has stability as well within their core. Someone who is um, maternal, someone who is mother material, someone who is wife material as well. I also do see that there has been a choice between tw two women as well, for those of you who are males, um, divine masculines, who have been dealing with um, two women. And for those of you who are females and are carrying the predominant energy of divine masculines, um, same-sex partnerships, you may have been dealing with two females as well. One of them was a bit um, of a snake, or well, very much a snake, very manipulative, and the other one is more stable, grounded, um, and does not chase, um, and just attracts abundance. This person is very balanced, um, very stable, very concrete. They like to do things slowly. This also makes a great lover as well, um, and I feel like you're going to have a surprise illumination about who and what who's right for you um, in the bedroom as well as maybe even someone that you're um, you may even surprise yourself with the choice that you make um, in your future as well with the person that is actually destined for you that you may have just not been seeing them in their truest light because you distracted yourself with other people you distracted yourself with situations or toxic behaviors as well that was stopping you and distracting yourself from seeing the clarity the truth the light and you surprise yourself and actually seeing that you may have seen someone you may have had this uh treasure trust chest of gold right in front of you the whole while whereas before there's been a lot of arguments and distractions and battling it out with someone who is very toxic that you've moved away from who absolutely had broken your heart maybe once twice three times maybe there was betrayal involved as well cheating as well um need for recovery and then coming back together again here with the Nine of Pentacles, I do see that there is separation, you leaving a relationship, you leaving um, heartbreak, you leaving toxic behaviours, you leaving people from your past away from you. Yes, and that has left you broken hearted, but you took time to heal as well. Um, and you're now seeing someone as very single at this time and you're seeing someone who's been very abundant, very self-nourishing, so very self-nurturing themselves, very independent not codependent like your ex possibly um and you're seeing someone with high regard here with king of wands looking at the nine of pentacles who is actually this queen of pentacles here so you're seeing a divine match here who has it all so someone who is very attractive works very hard 
someone who you could co be collaborating with, someone you want to manifest in your life here. You want to make them your wife here, but this is something that you're hiding from them here. You're very fearful about committing to them here with the Hierophant and the Moon card. Uh, you might be sneaky about your approach towards them. Um, I feel like you have, um, maybe you are in separation from someone that you feel a huge resonance with. And this does talk about you having st to still heal from people and situations that have been very low vibrational where there was a lot of cheating involved, lots of lies and deceit, um, and people that made you feel left out in the cold. You're also balancing out your finances too. And you're manifesting this two of cups, you're manifesting this soulmate relationship, this uh, meeting of, um, and meeting this person eye to eye, soul to soul, heart to heart as well. And here we have the strength card again. So you're leading the way and you're taking the strength, you're taking the strength and courage to make the right decision for yourself here and what's for the highest good for all as well. We're going to move on to the Vera Sibila now. So I'm just going to move the Crow Tarot out of the way. I hope you're enjoying this reading. Divine Masculines. So we're going to move on to the Vera Sibila. Very heavy energy. Very heavy energy. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of Vila Divine Masculines. What do Divine Masculines need to hear right now? Thank you so much. You have a, a great prize coming through, Gran Consolazione. So you have someone who you've been dreaming about, that you've been wishing for, you've been wishing for, that's going to provide you a lot of happiness and joy. This does talk about fantasies as well. So I feel like you have maybe been fantasizing about someone um, who you are wanting to attract. This does talk about sex magic as well. So using that energy to attract someone through um, self-pleasuring as well as is, is a form of sex, ma sex magic which um, if done right in a very tantric way can be very powerful and is a, a way of attracting the right person to you um, if and so if it's in the right if it's honoring you know source energy if it's honoring truth if it's honoring um, spirit then that is okay you know with La Fidelta, I do feel like you're very loyal to this person. You are committed to this person in spirit. Um, this is also um, wishes you see someone as your wish fulfillment here with Nove di Coppe, Nine of Cups. We have Consolante Sorpresa. So this does talk about a surprise, you know, maybe a surprise message that you're going to be sharing or sending someone is advised at this time. Maybe not being sneaky about it, but maybe um just being your truest self maybe you, you're also contemplating and dreaming up ideas about how you can contact this person uh commit to this person in the physical world even though you are commit, commit, committed to this person's spiritual world i do feel like you've left the past behind as well some of you may have actually gone through a loss where a loss where you may have um you know been grieving a you may be a widower you may be uh grieving a relationship that um has been dead and gone for quite some time literally speaking also um a relationship that you know you have ended as well that has caused you a lot of upset maybe there's an ending of spying as well maybe there's an ending of spying on someone or keeping tabs on someone but you are do definitely looking towards the future and i see that this future involves a friend or a female <coughs> who you are already in a connection with that you see as your great fortune here see the wheel of fortune has come up again in a different deck so what i'm channeling here is um true we have la superbia and fortuna which is telling me that you have met the one already and this is someone who is your wish fulfillment here i do see that you have plans to travel um to meet them if they're, they're there you go look the ad has come up so you i do see that you have travels plans to meet them, travel um, maybe over land and sea in order to see them, in order to make your feelings known or even to commit to them as well. Um, some of you are thinking about, you know, um, ways to come in sideways with the ladro. So this does talk to me about someone who um, maybe wants to come in from the back door um, uh, like a surprise, you know, here. Um, with Consolante Sorpresa and Gran Consolazione, maybe you're dreaming up ways and planning out ways that are, you know, different from your usual approach 
And also I do see that this person could be different from your usual type here. With Alegria, I do see that you see the potential. Like I do see that there's clarity with this Ace of Swords that came out earlier. Whatever you've been doing, what you will be doing in order to gain clarity, um, which does include, you know, withholding your semen as well. Um, for a, at least for a, a certain amount of time, you choose however long you want to do that for. Um, is going to provide you the clarity and give you an actual insight, um, the gift of prophecy and seeing a future that has not you haven't necessarily met just yet, a future that you haven't necessarily experienced just yet. So you have the, you will have the ability to have uh, clairvoyance and you see a lot of happiness and joy with your person here. You also see happiness and joy with new friends as well. Um, that you may want to surprise on maybe a road trip as well, or maybe going on a road trip with friends. So you may have a, you may want to do a um, surprise visit to someone's home here with Stanza, which will open up your heart to make you feel really light spirited, lots of happiness, lots of laughter, lots of joy here. You see how the energy is changing now? What is it that Divine Masculines need to know at this time, please? Thank you so much. And I don't know these so you are wanting to commit to someone who is very giving, loving and caring. Someone who tends to their home, someone who, um, you know, has a lovely home as well. Someone who is very compassionate, loving and caring, kind, sweethearted. Uh, I do see that there is there is something here where you're finding sort of, you're finding ways to, um, you're being quite, you're using tactics in your minds. You're looking at all the plans in your minds and see, mind and seeing which one would work best. Should I come into the door sideways? Should I use this tactic or should I just use a direct approach? Either way, it's going to be okay. And with Denari, um, this path that you're going to be choosing is going to provide you a lot of abundance. Financial abundance, financial prosperity, security that maybe you didn't have before. That's going to be coming through for you here. With Denari. Um, and the six of Sadie Coffe does talk about someone from your past that will provide you this abundance. They're going to make you feel so good in all ways, sensually, sexually, physically, emotionally, spiritually. They're going to make you feel, they're just going to uplift you, you know. And so why be with something that is toxic when you can have true love here with Amore? I also see that you're moving away from enslavement again with Prigione you know, mental enslavement, mental entrapment. I'm also hearing Bob Marley as well. Um, it mounts your pay from mental slavery. So that's coming through here. So I do see that you will be emancipating, emancipating yourself from mental slavery and indoctrination programming as well. Um, I also see that in terms of work, you're moving towards something that you actually love and enjoy. And I see that this is going to be positive. Some of you could be getting this as, as a surprise. So... You could even get a message from a place of work that maybe you applied for and you've got the job. It's one of those kind of things. I want to end this reading with the Angels, um, Diana Cooper Angels cards. So let's have a look. Um, but before I do, I'd like to also look at the Romance Angels too. So let's look at the Romance Angels for Divine Masculines. So Divine Masculines, please can we get the messages for Divine Masculines in terms of Romance Angels, please. Thank you so much. Okay, here we have number one. Past life reconciliation. Can't make it up. So this is exactly what I was talking about. So someone from your past is returning. You have known each other before because you have a soulmate. You have a soul contract with this person. So um, this could also be someone from your past who was toxic, was a false twin flame, a karmic relationship. This was someone also from your past life or your past who may have returned and you may have had a back and forth with, uh, you may have split up with them and then come back together with them as well, that was toxic, but there was a pattern here that you had to learn, clear and cancel and delete. And there's also an energy here of someone who is coming back from your past, who is actually meant for you because they're destined to be in your life because they are a true soulmate, they are your true match. And there you go, and that's the past. The past was unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And this is because it was just a one hit wonder situation, you know, and it wasn't built to last. So there it is. This toxic relationship that you were dealing with romantically speaking and also in friend with friendships too was unrequited. They weren't meant for you in the long run. They were not meant for you on this path that you will be choosing. 
fits for your high vibrational best you know your your best um just i'm hearing your best life you know there's a need to express your love here um sorry about the noise here there's a need to express your love here and keep an open mind because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations what did i say that this person is not going to be your usual type um and it's this is because this person is your soulmate this person is high vibrational this person is your person yes this is your soulmate so whoever you are with whoever you are or maybe even already married to you've recently um been married to you know you've recently had a wedding this is confirmation that you have met your person you are expressing love to each other in all beautiful ways mind body and soul and spirit as well you, you with with your soulmate like the sex is unreal this this isn't like you feel it on a cosmic level it's not this is tantra when you're with your soulmate it's let's say ha orgasming for 20 minutes 24 28 <laughs> 30 40 an hour two hours like the, why not experience that than just a 10 minute one shot you know that's what i'm saying here i'm sorry to be crude but that's just my divine masculine within me just to, to point it out and say it how it is and i feel like you need to hear this um so this is something that's long lasting let's have a look at the diana keeper angel cards so we have discernment and acknowledgement so i'll read acknowledgement first so look after yourself by acknowledging your desires and needs and taking steps to meet them examine and note your gifts talents and achievements when you accept all aspects of yourself you feel centered and confident then you can genuinely acknowledge others become aware of and nurture the good qualities of the people in your life so that they feel relaxed and happy in your presence angel wisdom reminds you to recognize who you truly are an involved spirit in a human body. So this is what I've talked about. The Wheel of Fortune does talk about things changing and evolving. And I do feel like you are evolving and becoming your better, the better version of yourself. And you're going to be living your best life. When you acknowledge your spiritual dimensions, you will align with your true self and your spirit will soar. So you're aligning with your true self. What did I say? Your affirmation is, I acknowledge who I truly am. So your affirmation is, I acknowledge who I truly am. If you'd like to take a screenshot of this, you're more than welcome to do that. There it is. And then we have discernment. So discernment, so discern who you're, who you're surrounding yourself with, the people that you're around, what kind of jobs that you're in, you know, really be true and clear with yourself as well. Discernment means sensing what feels right or wrong, trusting your judgment and acting on it. So trusting your judgment, trusting your psychic abilities, trusting what your nudging senses, your nudging feelings are telling you as well. So trusting what's right or wrong about situational people. Your angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling. What did I say? You're gaining clarity or you will be gaining clarity. And you will be sending and getting illuminations as well. I do feel like you're transforming your life and you will be getting clarity and becoming more of your divine self. You're becoming more aligned with your divine self, your divinity. So learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you to discern. I can't believe this, this is amazing. So learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you to discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. Your affirmation is, I trust my intuition. So your affirmation is, I trust your in my intuition. So that's it. So this is amazing. Take a screenshot of that if you like. And I do see that this is, this is what's happening for you. You are becoming more aligned with everything that makes your soul happy, your spirit happy, your body happy, your emotions happier as well. You're becoming more aligned with your divinity. And that's what I'm seeing here for you. So again, you have free will. So choose the right path, Divine Masculines. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe as well. Please do comment. I really do read the comments and I really would like to hear what you have to say, just generally speaking as well. Um, if you don't want to put this publicly as well, you can just send me a message by email. If you'd like a private booking, you know where to find me. All the information is in the description box below. Thank you so much. Take care, beautiful souls. Bye for now.